All right, guys, I want to tell you about OctoLens because this is a really interesting tool. And I want to explain it this way. It's a social listening tool so that you can see when customers are talking either about your brand or about pain points or something that your product might solve. And then magically you can come into the conversation, save the day and grow your business without spending a whole lot of money on advertising. That's what I really like about it because basically you're going to either, for most people, you're going to create a lot of content. Maybe that's blog posts, articles, social media, or you're going to do paid ads. And this is a happy medium where you can engage with the most interested people who are in the zone of buying your product. And so that's what I love about it. So you can get notifications to Slack. A lot of B2B uh, companies do this, but it really lets you zoom in on your audience. And a side benefit of that is when you're really thinking about your audience, you're, you're discovering what people what problems they have with you or your products or your competitors, which I think is, is really interesting as well. So you get, and it's, it will use AI to filter this into high intent mentions, what's most pertinent and immediate about what people are, are having. So they have relevant scores and replies. I'm going to go into my account and show you this, but I just want to cover the, uh, the pricing here. I actually think it's pretty fair pricing, $15 a month, $180 for the year. When you think you can be monitoring all of these platforms and being able to interact with all of those, all of those people. And so from the pricing perspective at $180 a year for, let's say the individual plan, when you think about running an ad campaign, you're going to spend a whole lot more than that. And here you can engage with those people that are already talking about you or about your competitors or about your pain points. And so I think that is really interesting. Anyhow, it really makes a ton of sense. Let's check out my account and I'll show you how it works. So this is my account. And when you do the onboarding, it's gonna ask you a little bit about your relevance, relevance settings. And this allows you to customize things. I actually just put the name of, of one of my blogs here. And this is pretty generic. Obviously, if you company does something very specific, you'll be more specific about it. But I want to be general because I actually can see potential for using this as an affiliate to sell affiliate products and to connect with people that are close to the end of, of the buying sequence. So anyhow, it's a really nice UI. They have the notifications here. So you can get uh, your notifications and how you want to you know, receive that if you just want on certain keywords. And then they also have a really nice analytics uh, platform here. So this will show you all the different keywords by the mention and what kind of relevant score it gave. And again, by platform. So as you can see, there's a ton of different mentions here that I've put in. Now, some of these platforms don't update every day. It's going to really depend on the, uh, the different platforms. A lot of them do update every hour though. So for example, this one, this is an affiliate product uh, of mine. And so I could actually go in and connect with people that are, are talking about this. And I can just look at this. I can look at all the keywords together. And I want to give a couple examples. So for example, Hotjar. So let's take off uh, Sensei. So Hotjar is a company. Let's say I have a product that's similar to this. So I'd be able to go in and connect with that. And if Hotjar was my, my company, I could see right here looking for a Hotjar, Hotjar alternative. Check out Zippy. I could go and be able to interact with that post and maybe interact with people that are, are interacting with that post. You see, it's only two hours ago that this was posted. So this is really fresh information. And so again, I'd be able to interact with that right away. Now this post is 42 views. There's not a lot of comments on it. And so you can filter for that as well. But I love this because you can basically go through and talk about this. You can find testimonials of people using your product. You can find problems and be able to, to adjust that. It also gives an AI thing where it says hi here. So it mentions an alternative, presenting an opportunity to promote that sort of thing. So the relevance, you can also check out the medium, which may just mention it as opposed to something that, that OctoLens thinks is someone that's actually looking for alternatives. And so Medium, I find a lot of really valuable stuff in the Medium part of the, of the feed. Now that could be because I didn't, I didn't have a very specific relevant settings about my company because I wanted to test this out and, and really see what it can do. But 
So you can see here, they're talking about Moose and a different tool. Sign up for a Hotjar account. If I was Hotjar, I would be jumping on that. You can also do uh, different search terms. So this is just filtering people that are looking for Faceless YouTube. So anyone mentions Faceless YouTube, I can go in there and be able to interact. And you see this about an hour ago, about an hour ago, two hours ago, two hours ago, three hours ago. So all these are, are very relevant um, to me. And I could just search for different platforms. So just see nothing on Hacker News for that. But if I just wanted to look at who's mentioning that on Reddit. And again, here I could just be interacting with these and building the, uh, the Reddit threads. So that is really gold valuable information there, or you could just do YouTube. Now they are going to be adding different platforms. And again, you can just click and do that. Go right to the post. You can also ask the AI to write a reply for you. And so again, it's a little bit confused because after doesn't really do this. If you want to, if you have a very specific product, you can do that as well. Now, one other thing that I do want to do and show you is on the keyword settings, when you add a keyword, okay, you can just search for certain platforms if you're only interested in certain platforms, but you can also do exact match and case sensitive, which is great if you are a specific brand and you can add additional keywords. So using and, or that would be able to help you find maybe pro problems or pain points that people are talking about. And you can exclude certain things too, as well as certain authors. So some of these take a while to update, but man, for me, this is really awesome. I can see a ton of interesting use cases with this. It really makes a lot of sense. Now there is another company that does this brand 24. And let me tell you, brand 24 is pretty expensive. When you're looking at this at the individual 119 per month for just tracking three keywords and it only updates every 12 hours. And there's a lot of people using this tool. There's people paying three, $400 a month for this type of tool because they understand how valuable it is. If you get a customer, think about what the lifetime value of that customer could be. So it makes a really a lot of sense to do this. I'm a big fan of this. I think this has a great use case. As I said, ad, paid ads can be very technical for people. But if you're spending money here, you're basically spending money and you're going to be able to engage on what other people are talking about and get right into their social media network as well. As I mentioned, they are going to be adding other platforms here. Let's see if anyone's talking about this on YouTube or on LinkedIn rather. And so, yeah, if you go into here, you can go right into the LinkedIn post, be able to read it, comment on it and be able to to engage, which, which makes uh, a ton of sense. This one's already got two reposts and it's not even that old. So it makes a lot of sense. Now there is a lifetime deal here on OctoLens right now, one-time payment. It's got seven reviews. I haven't actually reviewed it yet. I do plan to do that after doing this video. And I think I showed you everything about it. For me, I would go for at least the tier two license personally, because that just makes a lot of sense for a one-time purchase. You can swap out your different keywords, but it gives you a little bit more flexibility in order to do that. And it makes a ton of sense. Again, think about it. This is actually going to be able to put you in to the conversation with customers that are looking for a product that are, are, are searching for something that you can have the answer to. And you're doing something where you're going to be engaging with real people. And so for a lot of people that find paid advertising very complicated, this is a really good, happy medium where you can engage with them and it's very low tech and very uncomplicated. And because of that, I think this is great. So if you, if you sell a course, you could basically search different keywords of people trying to find that, that pain point, and you can be able to answer those problems and then let those people know that you have a course. That goes into even more detail. If you have an agency, the same type of thing. There's a ton of different use cases for this. I love the UI. I think it, it really makes a lot of sense. This is one thing that I, I really am a big fan of. And if it makes sense for your business, I'd encourage you to do that. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'd be more than happy to help you understand if, I, if you need more clarification on anything. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video. You're going to get more great videos 
like this that are going to break down tools in a, a, a really clear, honest way where you can decide if this is a tool for you or not.